Hey everyone, welcome back to the Pyaw Hobby Hat. I'm Brian, and today we're taking a look at something I've been dying to get my hands on, the Seastar S50 Smart Telescope. This little beauty is packed with AI, smart tracking, and app control features. We're going to unbox it, take a look at what's inside, and then I'll tell you what I think after spending a little time with it under the stars. So if you're into space, tech, or just want to see if this telescope is worth the money, stick around. So I've been looking forward to testing this out. I've been seeing a lot of ads for it on YouTube and Facebook, so figure I'd give it a try. It's going to run you a little over $500, and today we're going to see if it is worth the money. Nice, so right off the bat, it's got a really nice hard foam case that comes with it. That way you don't got to immediately go out and buy a case. That's a big plus. So upon opening it, let's see what we got. We got a charging cord. Looks like it's USB to USB-C. Looks like we got a lens filter. I'm guessing this is for looking at the sun. We got the tripod, the tripod base. It comes with the bubble level on it. Then we got the we got the quick start guide. And we got the safety guidelines for it. And then right here we got the actual telescope. So wow. As you can see, this thing's really small. I believe it just weighs seven pounds, so that's extremely light. I have a Celestron eight inch uh, case grain and that thing's heavy. I don't really use it too often because it's just not convenient. It's a pain to take out, plug it in and align it with the stars. So this one promises to be a lot easier to get it up and going and uh, align with the stars and just kind of point it and start, start shooting. So first things first, I'm gonna screw it on. It looks like it's the screw is a little bit bigger than a quarter twenty, so just keep that in mind. It looks like almost three eighths, but not quite that big. So we're gonna screw it on. Okay, pretty sturdy base. Let's see. So it looks like it'll extend to about where it's sitting, maybe fourteen inches. So not very high. I'm sure you could just use any tripod for it as long as it has a wide base because you definitely don't want to drop this thing on the ground but there it is you don't actually look through the eyepiece it sends everything to your phone and so you're never going to actually be crouched down over this so that's cool let's look at the quick start guide really quick so it says install the C Star app Okay, so <clears throat> go to Play Store, C Star app, S50. There we go. So we're gonna install it. Give it a little bit of time to install. So it says, so turn on the unit. Powering on, ready to connect. Okay. Powering on, ready to connect. Looks like we got four bars, so the battery looks to be full. Okay, so now that the app is downloaded, I'm gonna open the app, and I'm gonna hit connect. So let's see if it finds it. So yep, immediately the C-Star S50 pops up. So now I'm gonna connect. So right now my phone is connecting via Wi-Fi and it says it's connected without internet but that's what it needs to do so that's fine so now I'm gonna press the open arm button and that's gonna I guess it's gonna tilt it to where the actual lens isn't just face down and it's nice that it stores with the lens face down so it's not gonna get scratched when you have it packed up or anything so that's cool um, 
so right now it looks like it's pretty much zoomed that way. Let's see. So a little bit about the app. So here's the main app screen. It's going to show you the telescope that you have. And you could open and close arm to like get started. If you click on the stargazing tab, it's going to show you tonight's best. So the best things to look at tonight. I'm guessing there's like probably hundreds of things, mostly galaxies, nebula, clusters, stuff like that, comets. And then if you, let's hit back. Then you could click on the solar system. That's going to have all the planets in the solar system, including Pluto. And then if you click on scenery, that's going to be more for taking landscape pictures, looking at the mountain, stuff like that. It's got the smart track, so you can follow an object if you want. It's got focus, autofocus. So if you're looking at something and it's blurry, you just tap focus and it'll, you know, it'll focus. So if I want to control the telescope right now, I click on joystick. It brings up the joystick. And then if you can see the telescope in the background, I will, let's see, I'll make it go left. So I'll grab it. And right now the telescope should be going that way, which it appears to be doing that and it moves pretty quick let's say I wanted to go up and I just make it go up and as you can see it is going up so there we go seems pretty user friendly seems pretty easy now the real test is waiting for it to get dark taking it outside and seeing how it does. I am told it doesn't do well with planets. It does a lot better with galaxies, nebula, stars, stuff that's even further away. Planets, I guess, are too close. <clears throat> I could go look at the sun now. The sun's supposed to look really good with the sun filter. Just do not point it at the sun unless you got the filter on because it will damage the telescope you'll be out of $500 so yeah I'm looking forward to seeing how this does in the night sky um, it's pretty easy to get it set up actually very easy I'd say like one difficulty just for a quick little demonstration of how quickly you can get this up so let's say you have it out and now you gotta go. So you hold down the power button. Shutting down. It shuts down. Now it's gonna move the telescope lens back to the down position, I assume. So I'll let it do its thing. In the meantime, I will slide up the tripod legs. Okay, tripod legs are slid up. Now I will unscrew the tripod legs, Ooh. put away the telescope, nice snug fit, I think it goes this way, got that there, we'll keep the booklets, slide the filter, slide the charger, just like that. How long did that take? 40 seconds. So, and it's so small and compact. So in 40 seconds, you could unbox it. You could be driving down the road and be like, oh, I want to look at the moon. And within 40 seconds, just have it set up on your hood, be looking out. And like I said, it's light. Your kids could carry it. They wouldn't complain. You could get a backpack for it if you really want to, and it would fit right in the backpack. So nice design nice case and very easy very user friendly everything's done through your phone once again 
you don't look through an eyepiece like a traditional telescope. You do everything through your phone. That's how you're going to record the video. That's how you're going to look at the pictures. That's how you're going to control the telescope to go left, right, up, down. That's how you're going to get the presentations of the objects you're looking at. Um, everything is done through your phone. So, yep, looking forward to doing this. So, stick around and we will go outside and try to take some pictures. So right now it is finding the sun. It's taken a while, but as you can see, there it is with the solar lens on. And then there's that bright, bright star in the sky. So looks like it's pretty close to finding it. Oh no, now it's moving away from the sun, so... Uh, I don't know if it's successfully doing what it needs to do. Okay, so now I have it trying to find the sun. So we'll see how good it does, or if it even does it at all. This is like my third time doing it, and it hasn't found the sun yet. Sun's right there. This is not working. I'm kind of pissed. Okay, so today I finally got it to find the sun and track it. So I don't know if you can see this. That is the sun. And it is actively tracking it. So, pretty cool. Yesterday it wasn't working, but today it worked right away, so I'm happy about that. And it's going to be a clear night tonight, so I will wait for tonight to look at some galaxies. I'm going to be honest, getting this thing aligned was a real pain in the ass. First night out, it just wouldn't cooperate. Wouldn't track right, wouldn't lock on to anything. I didn't change anything at all, but then the second night, everything ended up working. These are a few of the shots I managed to grab once it started behaving. The first three pictures are of stars and I think they came out really nice. And this last one, this is of the Galaxy M13. Not bad for something that fits in a backpack. So no, this isn't your classic telescope where you manually point and look through an eyepiece. The Seastar S50 is really built for convenience and entry level astrophotography. If you're trying to avoid spending thousands on a telescope and camera setup, but still want to capture some incredible shots of galaxies, nebula, and stars, this is a solid option. Once it's aligned, it's quick to use, easy to transport, and honestly, pretty impressive for the price. Hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell so you don't miss any future content. We've got a lot more gear reviews, family projects, and creative adventures coming your way right here on the Piala Poppy Hut. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.